That's right. Well, after reviewing three different health metrics over the past several weeks, school officials say they now feel confident moving into phase one of reopening schools, especially for the county's most vulnerable students when it comes to online learning. Mr. Clerk, would you please call the roll? On Monday the night's meeting on reopening Cooper? Chesterfield County Schools was relatively quiet in comparison to the school board's August meeting when protesters shouted outside and parents lined up to speak by the dozens inside. This time, just a few parents openly addressed the board. The majority of you are serving a larger agenda that has very little to do with the students and staff. Who's the school board and who is the CEA? And why are they so intertwined? I say that to you because I think you have an image issue and I would like you to be aware of it. On Sunday night, the superintendent's health committee gave the go-ahead to begin phasing students back into the classroom in cohorts or groups. We do understand that there's two sides. A side that I would like my child to stay home and there's a side that I'd like my child to come back to school. So we want to honor the parents and the students in both areas. The phase-in process will begin with special education, level two students who attend in-person school four days a week. Groups two, three, and four will be phased in every two weeks beginning October 12th. But students in pre-K through 12th grade will only be attending in-person school two days a week while working on independent instruction the remaining three days. And each of those groups will be split into two groups based on their last name, with the A through K group going to school on Mondays and Tuesdays and the L through Z group attending school on Thursdays and Fridays. While the school district will be working closely with health officials for safety measures, the ability to stay open will be determined by COVID spread in the community, percent positivity, and hospitalization rates. We'll be ready on the 29th. While Superintendent Mervyn Dougherty says there'll be challenges, he says safely moving forward with in-person instruction is the goal of the district. We will keep reevaluating as students are coming back to see what our numbers look like. Now here is the proposed schedule for reopening schools. Pre-K through third grade or second grade, I mean, will go back to school on October 12th, grades three through five, October the 26th, and then grades six through 12 will return on November 9th. Now the school board must work out, or the school administration, I should say, needs to work out some kinks, including transportation. There's a cap of 26 students per bus, and there's still a shortage of bus drivers in Chesterfield County. They also need to work out teacher issues as to which teachers are gonna continue teaching virtually and which teachers are going to return to the classroom. All things Chesterfield County hopes will work out in time. Reporting in Chesterfield County, Tracy Sears. Now back to you.